In 1915, George Herbert, 5th Earl of Carnarvon, employed English archaeologist Howard Carter to explore the tomb of King Tutankhamun in the Valley of the Kings. Later in 1922, Howard Carter discovered the tomb of Pharaoh Tutankhamun, who had died in 1323 BC, aged about 18. Most of the tombs around had been plundered from early times and Tutankhamun's was the first to be found almost entirely undisturbed. Tutankhamun or King Tut was 9 years old when he became pharaoh and reigned for approximately 10 years until his death at a tender age of 18. Scientists still argue over the exact cause of his death but one thing which has been confirmed by DNA testing is that he was infected with the most severe strain of malaria several times in his short life. Tutankhamun apparently had a fracture in his left thigh bone and the malaria had weakened his immune system and interfered with the healing of his foot, both of which ultimately led to his death. Engraved on the exterior of King Tutankhamun's tomb is a warning. Death shall come on swift wings to him who disturbs the peace of the king. The discovery of the pharaoh's tomb created a worldwide press sensation and stories spread about a curse on anyone who dared to break into a pharaoh's tomb. It was widely claimed that many people associated with the opening of the tomb soon fell victim to the curse, dying under mysterious circumstances. A few months after the tomb's opening, tragedy struck. Lord Carnarvon was taken ill and rushed to Cairo. He died a few days later. The exact cause of his death was not known, but it seemed to be from an infection started by an insect bite. Legend has it that when he died, there was a short power failure and all the lights throughout Cairo went out. His son reported that back on his estate in England, his favorite dog howled and suddenly dropped dead. Even more strange, when the mummy of Tutankhamun was unwrapped in 1925, it supposedly was found to have a wound on the left cheek in the same exact position as the insect bite on Carnarvon that led to his death. The media in 1920s found plenty of evidence that something was punishing the excavators. The excavators of the most perfect ancient Egyptian burial chamber ever found. Lord Carnarvon's pet bird was eaten by a cobra. His dog died back in England almost the exact moment when he kicked the bucket in Egypt. And a radiologist who supposedly x-rayed the mummy died of a mysterious illness. A rich American died of pneumonia after visiting the tomb and a member of Carter's excavation team was said to have died of arsenic poisoning. But of course, there was no curse. If Tutankhamun wanted revenge, why would he spare Howard Carter, the man who actually found him and lived to tell the tale? Not only did Carter live to a fairly ripe age of 64 before succumbing to cancer, but Sergeant Richard Adamson, a member of Carter's team who guarded the burial chamber round the clock for 7 years and was the European closest to Tutankhamun's remains, lived for another 60 years until his death in 1982. So where did this curse come from? When Tut's tomb was discovered and opened in 1922, it was a major archaeological event. In order to keep the press at bay and yet allow them a sensational aspect, Howard Carter put out a story that a curse had been placed upon anyone who violated the rest of the boy king. Carter did not invent the idea of a cursed tomb, but he did exploit it to keep intruders away from his history-making discovery. In fact, the tombs of all royalty, not just Tutankhamun's, were said to have the exact same curse and had been opened with no resulting evil effects. Howard Carter was far from alone in making an effort to scare away potential grave robbers with the threat of supernatural wrath. But it worked. Nearly a century after Tut's tomb was opened, many people still believe in the curse of King Tutankhamun. So what do you guys think? Was it actually some kind of ancient Egyptian curse which led to these eerily timed coincidental deaths? Or was it maybe some kind of fungal infection which lowered the immunity of the explorers which led to their deaths later on? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And with that said, I'll take my leave and I'll meet you guys in the next video.